Hello my dear students and welcome back to Balaji online classes. I am Rabia Khatun and today I will be teaching you English grammar of class 5th. We will be studying chapter number 24 of your book and the name of the chapter is The Tower. This is a comprehension, this is a short passage or a story you can say and after which some questions are given that have, that have to be solved. So let's study this. This is a passage, let's study about it. Uh, I'll read and then I'll explain you. King Alexander watched the moon. He was sure it was filled with gold. King Alexander had a rule that all gold should belong to the greatest king in the universe. He had also passed a rule that he was the greatest king in the universe. He called his advisor and said, I must add the moon to the royal treasury. So, uh, King Alexander was a king and he was watching the moon and he uh, thought that this moon is filled because the moon appears golden, moon appears uh, gold of golden color. So, the king uh, thought that moon is filled up with gold and this moon should belong to the greatest king of the universe and he thought that he himself is the greatest king of the universe. So, he tried, he uh, called his advisor and he said that I want to add this moon to my treasury. The next week the king watched the moon shrink into a crescent and thought to himself someone has reached the moon and he has been sleep stealing my gold. If I can catch the thief the moon will always grow bigger and it will never shrink. King Alexander told his advisor to bring the wisest person in the kingdom and ask him how to reach the moon. So next week uh, the moon, uh, the king saw that the moon turned into a crescent moon, a, uh, a thin moon, a crescent moon. So king thought that Somebody is stealing this gold, uh, this uh, gold which belongs to him. Somebody is stealing the gold from the moon. So he decided that I will catch the thief so that this uh, gold is not stolen and the moon grows bigger and bigger in size. So he called his advisor and he asked him, to, uh, he asked uh, the advisor to search anybody who could help him to reach the moon. The search began. One day the royal advisor saw two goat herds. He went up to them and said, I am looking for the wisest person in the kingdom. Can you help me? One goat herd replied, that must be my elder brother. He knows where to find the best grasses and plants. Our goats provide rich milk that is made into the finest cheese in the kingdom. The royal advisor uh, felt he must be the wise. He must be wise indeed. The goat herd's elder brother and the royal advisor went to the King. So, uh, the advisors uh, started uh, searching for a wise person so that he could advise the king to reach the uh, moon. So, he, the advisor saw two goat herds. He went to one of them and said, Ki, can I uh, get the wisest person in the kingdom? So, the goat, one of the goat herds said, that can, be a, that can be my elder brother because he is wise enough. He provides best grasses to my goats and these goats give rich milk and the finest cheese is made in the kingdom. So, advisor thought that his elder brother must be a, a wise person and he went to that uh, uh, he went to the elder brother of that goat herd. The royal advisor bowed before the king and said, Your Highness, this goat herd is the wisest person in the kingdom. He will help you reach the moon. Ordering him, King Alexander said, You must find a way to reach the moon. You have seven days. If you don't think of something, I'll throw you and the royal advisor in the jail forever. So, he took the elder brother of goat herd to king and they both bowed in front of the king and said that uh, the royal advisor said that he is the wisest person. So, the king said, I want to reach to the moon. You have seven days. I want to reach to the moon and you have to do that. If you will not do that, I will throw so you and the royal advisor into the jail. The royal advisor and the confused goat herd talk half the night trying to think of a plan. Finally, they could stay awake no longer and said the goat herd dreamt he was back with his horse. He dreamt about the fresh apples in the trees. He stood on an old barrel to reach the fruits high up in the tree. The next morning, the goat herd told the advisor about the dream. So, the goat herd uh, and the advisor started talking about it started making the plan how to make the make the king reach the moon they talked and then they slept and when the goat herd slept he saw a dream he was with his goats and he was trying to reach an apple that was high in the tree so he was uh, standing on a bar on a barrel to reach that uh, apple so when he uh, 
when in the morning he woke up he told the advisor about the whole uh, thing that he has dreamt and they made a plan and they went in front of the king and they told that um, they drew a picture of the great tower and marched off to see the king the royal advisor said to the king alexander your highness we have the answer let the royal tax collector bring every barrel in the kingdom we'll have the royal carpenter pass them them into a tower you can climb to the top and reach the moon so he advised that uh, we'll make a big a long tower and you can climb on that tower and you will reach the moon so let all the barrels be brought and the carpenter carpenter will make a long tower and you will climb and go up and reach the moon soon every barrel bed chair and table in the kingdom was nailed together to build the tower one fine day king alexander said the tower is high enough i'll wait no longer today is the day i'll climb to reach the moon when the king reached the moon the very top he stretched up to touch the moon but he could not touch it so uh, every barrel every chair bed uh, table everything was joined together to make the tower and one day the one day the king said the tower is high enough now i want to go on the top of the tower to touch the moon and as soon as the king reached the top of the tower uh, he uh, stretched his hand to touch the tower but he could not touch it because still moon was far enough so uh, he could not touch it so he ordered from high up that bring me something so that i can uh, put it up and uh, again try but everybody down ordered that there is nothing left and everything we have put so the king said that take out something from the bottom and give it to me now see how foolish the king was the king was so foolish that he said ki niche se kuch nikal do tar ke niche se kuch nikal do and i will put it up and reach the moon he did not know he was so foolish to know ki agar niche se kuch nikala jayega to wo pura tar gir jayega but he did not know that he was so foolish so he said but the royal advisors and everybody said that if we'll take out that you will fall so the king said that is my order take out anything from the tar i want to put it up and i want to reach the moon so they took it out and the whole tar that was built lamba sa jo tar bana tha jaise hi niche se kuch nikala gaya wo pura tar that tar fell down and the king also fell down with that so that was the story uh the foolishness of that king that he wanted to reach the moon he created a tar and he finally said that take out something from the bottom of the tar and the tar fell down and he also fell down he was so poor. he was poor alexander he was so foolish he was uh, not knowing this thing and everybody told also but then too he did not understand that thing and uh, so uh, that was it that was the story i hope you have understood it for the better understanding of this chapter you can read it by your own the notes of this chapter you will be getting on school mitra app you can download it from there and complete your work in your book and copy until my next video bye bye and take care